Good afternoon, Year 2. Welcome to Tuesday's science lesson. I thought I'd record a video uh, just to go with this PowerPoint, just to give you some ideas. Now, we've already touched on what we're learning today, but we looked at it when we were doing our animals and environments topic. And we were looking at basic needs and the needs that all animals have to survive. Now, we know that humans are a type of animal. We're a very advanced form of animal, aren't we? But we're still an animal, okay? And there's three main types of living things, aren't there? There are animals, plants, and fungus, so things like mushrooms, okay? They're the three types of living thing. So we're in the animals group, aren't we? And we've, so like I say, we've already looked at what um, animals and plants need to stay alive, what their basic needs are. Today, we're going to look at humans and see if we, it's going to be a bit of a revision and a little bit of extra work. So let's have a look. So I want you to imagine that you've been chosen to lead a mission into space. You're going to be all alone for two weeks while you rocket towards the moon. What do you need to take with you to keep yourself happy and healthy? OK, so what there's three numbers on here, but actually, yeah, the three num the three things are the main things you'll need. But is there anything else? So have a think about what would you take with you, which would keep you happy and healthy and keep you alive? OK, that's really important. It would keep you alive. So it might be really great to take your Nintendo Switch with you. But would it keep you alive? Might stop you getting bored. But is it going to keep you alive? So what did you decide to take with you? Can you tell someone? Tell the screen if you want to tell me. And those things you listed, do you need them to keep you alive? So like we said about the Nintendo Switch, do you need a football to keep you alive? Do you need clothes to keep you alive? So there are many things that humans like to have to make their lives more enjoyable or more comfortable. But there are only a few things that we really actually need. Do you know what they are? So have a think. What could they be? Those four things. Let's have a look. Oh, not like that. We won't. The first one, we need food. OK, so food is really important for keeping us alive, isn't it? We need air, so we need oxygen, we need to breathe. If we can't breathe, we won't be able to stay alive. And just like that with food, if we don't get food, then we won't have any energy and we won't be able to stay alive and we'll starve. Without air, we won't be able to breathe and we'll suffocate. What else do we need? We need water. So water helps keep everything in our body going so it keeps our brain going. Most of our brain is water. And sometimes when you get a headache because you've not drank enough water, that's because your brain is shrinking because it needs that water to keep itself nice and juicy and ready to do all the hard work that we need to do. So water is really important. And the last thing we need is shelter. So we need a shelter somewhere to keep us warm and dry and safe and away from harm. So out of those four things, which do you think is the most important? Which thing could we live the least amount of time without? Have a think. That's right, it's air. If we didn't breathe, we would not be alive after about two or three minutes. So that's not long at all. So we need to breathe. Air is the most important thing, isn't it? What do you think is the next most important thing? That's right, it's water. We need water. So if we don't have water, so that if we say with air, if it's two to three minutes with, without air, it's about two to four days without water, we would die. What's the next most important thing? That's right, food. So if you didn't eat anything for about a month, then you would be very, very poorly and you could die, couldn't you? And obviously shelter is very important, but we can survive without it. We wouldn't always be very happy. We might get quite sick and quite poorly. But sadly, there's lots of homeless people out there who have to live out on the streets. And so they don't have the same shelter we do, but they do shelter somewhere. So they wouldn't just sit out in the rain, would they? They would find somewhere warmer and, and drier. So shelter is really important for keeping us well. So the basic needs. Air. So mammals, reptiles and birds breathe air through their nose or mouth 
into their lungs. So just like us, these mammals and reptiles and birds, they all have lungs. And we're a mammal, aren't we? And our lungs are where we take our air in. And when our air goes into our lungs, it, our lungs send it through our blood around the rest of our body. All our organs, all our special parts need air to keep them going, to keep them working, to keep them doing the jobs that they need to do. However, fish and other sea creatures don't have lungs. They breathe underwater through special organs called gills. And you can see it on the side of the shark there. And we've talked about this before, haven't we? That gills, they open and they suck in the water and they can absorb straight from the water the oxygen that's in the water, the air that's in the water. Now, things like whales and dolphins, they are mammals that live in water, so they don't have gills. They have to come up to the top to get air, but they can hold their breath for a long time. So water, creatures that live on land get water by drinking and from the food that they eat. So we get water by drinking, don't we? We're very lucky we can get it from the tap. We can fill up our water bottles at school. Um, lots of creatures get them from ponds and lakes and rivers. There's some creatures, mostly reptiles, who don't actually always drink water in the way that we do. They eat food that's full of water, so like plants that have absorbed water and other animals that have had drinks of water to keep them hydrated. Animals that live in water, they take in water by drinking through their skin and from their food. So sharks, dolphins, creatures like that have special skin. We call it porous. And porous means it can it, water can pass through it. So they can take the water in like that. So they don't always need to drink. Some of them do, but not always. Food. All animals need to eat food to stay alive. Some animals eat only other animals. We call these animals what? Do you remember that name? Carnivores, that's right. And can you give me an example of a carnivore? Can you say a name of a carnivore? Something that only eats meat? So right, there's some pictures there, isn't there? You could have an owl, an alligator, a cat, a lion, a shark. Now, some animals only eat plants, and these animals are called herbivores. I always remember that because a herb is a type of plant, isn't it? So can you think of a herbivore, an animal that only eats plants? That's right. You could have had a rabbit, an elephant, a turtle, a toucan, or a cow. There's lots of others, isn't there? And there's some animals that eat both animals and plants, and these are called omnivores. Now, omni means everything, okay? So humans are an omnivore. Pigs, bears, ducks, because they eat worms, but they also eat berries and fruits, and whales and dolphins. For humans and most animals, shelter is very important too. This keeps us safe from predators, gives us a place to rest and have young, and protects us from getting too wet, too hot, or too cold. Okay, so we don't all have the same shelter, do we? What shelter do most humans have? We live in a house, don't we? We live in a house or a flat or a bungalow uh, or a caravan or a static home, something like that. We have that as our shelter. What type of animals would shelter in trees, do you think? What animals would use trees as shelter? You're right, things like birds and squirrels, things that live in trees. And we've got a nest there, which lots of birds build for the shelter in their young. We have hutches that sometimes if we have pets, we put them in outside hutches like rabbits. We put them in there to keep them right. And what type of animal might shelter in a cave? Perhaps a bear or a mountain lion or something like that. So shelter is very important. Now, Here's a question. Will a human be able to stay alive if they get air, water, food and shelter? Yes. If humans have air to breathe, water to hydrate their bodies, food to give them energy and shelter to keep them warm and safe, then they will survive and stay alive. So they're the most important things for survival, aren't they? However, will a human be healthy and happy if they only have air, water, food and shelter? What do you think? Do you think there's any other things that humans like or need to help them be happy? Remember as well that being healthy means having both a healthy body, but also a healthy mind. What helps keep your mind healthy? Do those four things do that on their own? 
think of some extra needs humans might have to truly feel healthy and happy. So what makes you happy? What things could you not live without because you would be sad and unhappy if you didn't have them? Let's have a look. So what did you think of? Here's some I came up with. You might have some other ones. Family. We need our family to keep us happy and healthy, don't we? We love our family and that love from our family is very important. We need our friends. So our friends give us someone to play with, help us to not feel lonely, help us to exercise, help us to feel wanted and needed. And they give us love, don't they? We need love and kindness from others. So we need to feel loved, don't we? If we don't feel loved and cared for, we're not going to feel happy, are we? We need to feel important. So we need to feel like people will listen to us, that our opinion and our thoughts matter and that they think about what we say. We need safety. So we need, so that's our shelter helps us to have that, but also our family. So our mums and dads, nanas and granddads, they help to keep us safe, don't they? And look after us. We need an education. So we need to go to school. We need to learn to help our brains grow so that we can have healthy and happy jobs when we get older. Obviously at the moment, it's a little bit difficult because we're at home, but your parents are doing an amazing job at helping you keep your learning going. We need exercise. So even now, even when we're in a lockdown and we can't do much at all, we're still allowed, the government still allows us to go out for our daily exercise because it's so important. It keeps our body healthy, but it also keeps our mind healthy. We need our hobbies. So some of you I know like to play football. Some of you like to go dancing. Some of you go to karate. Some of you might play netball. Some of you might go running or swimming. Some of you might enjoy playing on your PlayStation or your Nintendo Switch. These hobbies are really important to keep us happy, aren't they? Clothing. So it doesn't matter how good our shelter is, if we haven't got any clothes to keep us warm when we go out, then we wouldn't be very happy, would we? We need time alone. So we need some time. We need to feel wanted and loved and have our friends and family. But we need time to be on our own as well, don't we? We need treats. So things like sweets and chocolates and things that we enjoy. Now, we wouldn't have them all the time, would we? Because that would make us unhealthy. But little bits of it helps to keep us happy and gives us something to look forward to. And of course, we need medicine. So we need to stay well. We need to know that if we get poorly, we can go to the doctors or the hospital and they can help us. So here's a quiz we're going to do. And you're going to answer this question. So true or false, creatures that live underwater don't need to breathe. What do you think about that? Let's see. It's true. Oh, hang on. It's not true, is it? Because they do. It says fish and most of the sea creatures breathe underwater through special organs called gills. So even though they're not breathing in the way that we do with our lungs, they still need to breathe, don't they? Next one. Water is the best drink for humans and other animals. Is that true or false? Check if it's true. It is true. It says the statement is true. Humans have lots of drinks to choose from, but nothing is as good for our bodies or animals' bodies as fresh, clean water. Humans are herbivores. They only eat plants. Now, think about that. That's quite a hard one, isn't it? Because some humans might be vegetarians and only eat plants, but are all humans. That's right. That's false. Humans eat animals and plants. They are omnivores, aren't they? True or false? Fish never drink. Think about what we said about fish, about their skin. Is that true or false? That's right, it's false. The statement is false. Some fish drink water, some fish get water from their food, and some absorb water through their porous skin. Next one. Some creatures that live in the sea breathe air. Are there any creatures that live in the sea that breathe air like we do, that have lungs? That's right, it's true. Marine mammals like dolphins and whales and reptiles like sea turtles need to come to the surface of the water to breathe air like we do. Here's another one. Pets only need water, food and air to be happy and healthy. You think that's true or false? I think that's false. A pet might survive on only water, food and air, but it could be very unhappy. Pets also need shelter and special care. Each pet has different needs, just like us. We could have food and water and air, but we need other things to be healthy and happy, don't we? 
So your activity today, there's two worksheets. There's an easier one, which has got some parts filled out for you and a harder one, which you have to do on your own. So you're going to complete the worksheet to describe yourself and your needs. So the first thing you're going to do is draw a portrait of yourself in the box. You draw a picture of you as a human, OK? Next to your picture, you're going to list the four needs all humans and animals have for their basic survival. So there's four things they need. Then the next part underneath, you're going to write sentences about how you meet your basic needs. For example, I get air by breathing through my nose or I get water from my tap at home or by filling my bottle at school. Number four, on the bottom part, you need to write sentences about two or more extra needs that you have, which make you healthy and happy. Now, they'll be different to your friends, won't they? So you're going to use the conjunction so or because to explain why. So, for example, I need to go for walks so I don't get bored. I need to play with my friends so I don't get lonely. So that's your task for today. Now, if you finish early and you want any extra work, I've attached to the science um, folder um, some information fact sheets about a range of animals. And there's a worksheet. What you can do is you can read about one of those animals and then you're going to produce a sheet for how you would care for that animal, what it needs to be happy and how you would look after it. OK, enjoy your science uh, work year two and I'll see you soon. Bye.